Today I'm reviewing the Dive Right EXP fin. This is a fin that is made to compete with the jet fins of the world. Those are the heavy black rubber fins uh, popular with tech divers. This fin, if it looks familiar to people that have been diving for a while, that's because it used to be an old Apollo fin, which Dive Right bought the molds for. Um, the difference between this and like a jet fin is that this blade is much, much longer, uh, but it's also a lot lighter. Uh, despite um, the fact that it is lighter, uh, you still can get quite a bit of uh, thrust from this fin. Um, it's made of monoprene, so even though it's light, it's very stiff, so you can get quite a bit of snap to it. You need to have pretty strong legs in order to use this fin. It's great for all your all kinds of kicks as long as you're strong enough. Uh, frog kick, um, I used this and frog kick was great. You can do backward kick, you can helicopter turn. I did not have a good time using flutter kick um, with this or modified flutter. All the other kicks were great. Frog, modified uh, frog, and yeah, everything else. But my legs simply were not strong enough to use this fin for any kind of flutter kick. I got cramps left and right with this fin. And, you know, I'll use um, one of my regular fins is the Hollis F1 fin, which is also a heavy rubber fin. Um, I can do flutter in that and I do not cramp up, but this I felt was a whole lot stiffer. So as long as you're strong enough, you should be able to handle this fin just fine. One of the great things about this fin is that if you do not suffer from floaty feet, if you have heavy feet, and, you're te and you need a fin, uh, you're a technical diver, or you just need a fin that's gonna move your dry suit through the water or something like that. This is a great fin, um, especially for frog kickers. Uh, because it's lighter, it is slightly negative, um, but because um, it is lighter, uh, your feet won't be sinking down the whole time. You, sh you know, if you have heavier feet naturally, this will help out with your trim. Now, one of the things that um, I, one of the other things I really like about it is the foot pocket. It is a very generous size. Uh, I wear, um, this is an extra large, and I wear uh, thick booties. Um, so I'll wear either a size 10 or 11, depending on the shoe. Um, and uh, I wear thick soles for walking on rocks and whatnot. And the thick soles prevent me from a lot of the other fin sizes that are XL out there. This fin had no problem with it. I was able to put it in there, it felt comfortable. Uh, it also comes with spring straps, which in itself is really great. However, the one downside I have is, because I dive in colder waters, uh, I'm wearing five millimeter gloves at the very least, or potentially dry gloves or something like that. And I found it really difficult to get my finger through this hole in order to pull the spring straps back um, while putting my fin on. Uh, I think this is great if you um, are, you know, barehanded or have really thin gloves. But if you're wearing five mils like myself, um, this becomes kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, kind of a minor issue. <clears throat> so one of the things I'd like to do is um, just give you a quick comparison between this fin and some of the others. This is a uh, Scuba Pro Jet Fin. It is only a size medium, so it's not the same size. The pocket, the foot pocket is obviously really small. And the extra large um, is, is bigger than this. But just to give you an idea of how big, the, how the fins compare in size, um, the extra large Jet Fin uh, compared to an extra, this is an extra large Dive Right EXP Fin. This is only a medium Scuba Pro Jet Fin. I don't have an extra large to compare it. Extra large is bigger, but you can see that the jet fin will be uh, wider um, and shorter, whereas the dive right fin is much, much longer. Um, I, when I dove this, it was just in open water, so I haven't taken it into confined space, but I have heard of a few people complain about the length in terms of confined space. Like I said, I can't answer that myself. I just took it out on one dive and was very pleased with its performance regarding frog kick. Um, not so much with flutter. This is one of my everyday fins that I use. This is the Hollis F1 fin. 
and this is the extra large. So you can see the extra large <coughs> uh, dive right compared to the hollow spin. So they're about the same size. The hollow spin is much heavier and a lot more negative. Um, so if you need something lighter, uh, the, the uh, dive right is probably the way to go. I have an easier time doing flutter in the Hollis F1 than I do the dive rights. Um, I don't cramp up with the F1s and I can do all my quick picks with it. So I, I feel like the dive rights are actually stiffer. And for some people, that's a good thing. So that's my review of the dive right EXP fin. It's a uh, very stiff blade, good for technical diving, good for frog kicking. Not so great for flutter kick unless your legs are strong and used to it. It's slightly negative, um, but it's a light fin, um, especially for its class. And if you have heavy feet, this may be the fin for you. Also a very generous foot pocket. It's very comfortable and should fit most boots, um, whether they're rock boots or booty, thick booties or whatever. Uh, the Dive Right EXP fin.